Let's imagine that we have isolated a new bacteria and want to test to see which antibiotics will work against it. We've talked about this before on the channel, disc diffusion methods, where we spread the microbe across the entire surface of the plate, add a series of antibiotic discs, incubate the plates, then measure the zone of inhibition around each disc. The bigger the zone, the better the antibody works in killing the bacteria. If this zone is smaller than a standardized value determined by diagnostic labs across the world, we consider the bug to be resistant to the antibody. Let's pause here for a second and look at three design parameters. One, how do we know how long to incubate the plates? For? Two, each of the antibiotics added is at a given concentration. How did scientists figure out that this was the best concentration to use? Three, the standardized value that determines if a zone is resistant or sensitive to an antibody. How is this determined? The truth is all of these parameters weren't landed on by luck. They were systematically tested again and again until the most optimal version of the experiment was figured out. 